All right, we are in the staging lanes of the Samoa Drag Strip Fast Forward Cartel Promotions. And we have a beautiful patina, really clean original car. And uh, it belongs to John Davidson. How you doing? We just uh, trying to do a little interview and see what's up, what you've done to your car, what you have in it, what you're proud of. Um, what's the coolest part, what's your favorite part of the car, and history and when you bought it or how long you've had it and what you like about it so much. Because I like a lot of it. I like the wheels, I like the patina fade. It's balding here and there, but it's still shiny. I can tell it's never been hit. That seal on the hood line is pristine. And um, a lot of it's original paint. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I picked it up. The about, running boards look original. Picked it up actually about uh, 22 years ago off of Chris Seeger, and he owned L5B Dubs in Salem, Oregon. All right. You can follow me. <laughs> and the first thing I thought of it was when I first, my first 67, I seen this and it just looks solid. Yeah. So when I first looked at it and I said, this is a great bug because I used to be into V-dubs, I got out of them, got back into them. And this is what I got back into them with. And this is by far my favorite V-dub. I have a bus, everything else, but this is, this is my baby here. I yes. Because like it it's just a solid car throughout. Um, a lot of originalness to it. Yes. And, uh, there's many things I uh, I like about it. You still have the original panels and things like that. Everything that I've done to the car, it isn't stuff that really can't be turned back to original. Yes. I've outfitted it with a lot of Ron Luma stuff, the pedals, the brakes, the roll cage, uh, master cylinder and stuff. I still run the... I'm an MP collector, so I still run a lot of original MP parts on it and things. Vintage. Vintage parts. Yes. Yeah. Vintage MP. Yes. And I run the Rev 6. Okay, the you got a Ron Lumis roll cage? Yes. Okay. How about the chrome tail lights? you have the original ones? Or what's the deal with that? I still have the original ones. So you just put them because you thought you found them and they could look cool and they're old school. Yeah, it's, it Pure brings correct. that MP theme. Yeah. That MP theme. Let's see, let's see what's on the deck lid. It's a 2387. It's got a FK48 15 rockers. It's the compression set about 13 to 1. And I'm running about a 40 shot of nitrous on it. Okay. And those are Jeanberg 58s, which. On the Berg manifolds? On the Berg 590s, yes. Monstrous. Look at those things. Beautiful. Running uh, CB wedge port heads that have had work done to them. Yeah. You got a sidewinder? Yes, with a two inch. It's I had a. Uh, it looks tiger. like a step. It looks yes. like a couple steps, right? I, I had Tiger do it at A1. It's a two inch step. Yeah. You got the puller to pick it up. Well, what I do is I run. I run a seven inch bottom and I run a uh, small 356 top so that it will have more cooling on the return road. It'll hopefully it'll charge a little fan. faster, you know, and stuff like that. It's kind of geared for where I go racing at Woodburn. So my long drive back to the pits, you know, I'm more charged up and yes. cooled off a little better. I like you. You have a lot of Berg parts in this thing. Yes. Yes. I like Berg parts too. How about your wheels? You got some CMS wheels? CMS wheels, yes. You got this all around. I see a Those little bit of Ron on. Loomis uh, disc brakes with the strange calipers. I even got his. Uh, and I see his master cylinder. I also see some spring plate uh, covers, retainers. Yes, I yes, uh, got the Loomis uh, retainers in there. I don't run. Uh, I don't run my. It's a stock uh, spring plates. Yeah. I run stock portions. Okay. And and you have like a traction bar? It's going to do. A I run the track. Tra I run a Kafer bar, and then I've also run the uh, traction bar in the rear. Yeah. And as you can see, it sits down lower than normal because on a Sidewinder, they don't 
they don't fit up there like they're supposed to. Yes. So I run a rod up there. Yes, I, so I've seen that. Seen I've seen that. Well. I've seen that a lot. Even on a normal car, it's hard to get it straight. Right. Even without right. that muffler, it's hard to get them perfectly straight. Beautiful steering wheels. Is it called the carousel, right? Is that what that one called? Yeah, this is the carriage wheel. Oh, the carriage yeah. wheel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got a little bit. All right, there for you. The empty package Look at tray. those pedals. Those pedals are crazy. Yeah. The Loomis pedals. He sells them for the pan cars for this application. Wow. Get your... This is right here. For... Yeah. Because this will hit on the stock location, the roll, mm -hmm. right? Right. And then... How much power do you get from the flower right there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it stays. Oh, so you have a completely separate fuel system for the nitrous, right? I do. Because I want to stick with the original tank and all that. You can see I still got all the original stickers. And so now you have your, your race. You put race gas on that one? For, yes, I put uh, race gas in this one. I, I switched to a C14 fuel, so I run C14 in bulk now. Oh, really? Oh, because you have motors at 13. Because your motors to... high compression as well. Yes. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. I don't run. I don't run enough uh, nitrous to really have to worry about any kind of a retard or anything like that. You know. So. You're not pulling timing yet. No, no. You don't really have to pull time until you're getting above 50 horse. Just get 60, 70 horse, and that's it's a good idea to do it then. Yeah. You get your most out of your nitrous. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, to keep the head from getting fucked up. Oh, this is cool. Oh, so you put your ignition box back there? Yeah, and yeah, it's got a two-step. Where's your two-step, on the shifter? Just above the box. Oh, okay, but the button, is it the one in the front or the one in the back of the shifter? The front is, you can run the nitrous off a button or you can switch this switch and it'll run off the pedal. Oh, okay. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. This is line lock? line lock that's hooked up to the two-step. Okay. All right. And do you usually leave on the button or do you leave on the e-brake? I leave on the button. On the button. And then that switch over there, what is that, fuel pump? This one you have three is the pur purge the nitrous. This is for the, it's got a separate fuel pump for the, for the uh, fuel for the nitrous. Yeah. And then this activates the whole nitrous system. And then this is the main fuel pump for the main tank. Oh, okay, for the normal engine. Right. Okay. Okay, let's see. And then these, the windows, in order to save weight, windows, I put them in stock rubber, but they're Lexon. Yes. Yeah, that's my bug has those too. That's the way to just, do it. I was actually just told today. <laughs> I didn't know oh, this, but. I think we're gonna run. Okay then. But well, we'll see you guys and we'll do a little feature later where we'll put all the cars together. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.